Welcome down to the Malton Man Cave. I'm Keith. And I'm Dave. It's been way too long it's since been... we've done a Campbelltown, so you know we had to do it tonight. Bring it on down to Campbelltown. All right, we're back, and as I said, tonight it has been way too long since we have reviewed a Campbelltown single malt, so tonight is the night. Do you like Campbelltown? <laughs> is there something about Campbelltown that you like? Tonight we're going to be doing Long Row Red, the coveted, oh, long row. the iconic, the Long Row Red series, which you guys that follow the channel know I am obsessed with. There has never been a bad Long Row Red. They've all been great, some of them phenomenal. Um, but this one is Long Row Red, Chilean Cabernet Sauvignon, matured and aged for 13 years. But before we get started, I got to give a little family shout out. Told my son I was going to give him rep out the Daddy Source Rex t-shirt. So my son just turned four and he is obsessed with dinosaurs. I think like like many, many little children. I, are, are we not are still obsessed kids? with dinosaurs? Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite, though, is how we pretend that we know what color they were and what their roar sound like. <laughs> I'm just like, this is a complete hypothesis. What if the yes. T-Rex was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Jurassic Park would have you think that way. <laughs> so I want to give a shout out to my son. He just turned four years old. Um, a couple of, what's the November 15th. Love you, buddy. You are amazing. Um, so, shout out Christ. We're back. That's what I'm going to start calling your son. <laughs> Christian. <laughs> As his short day. Everybody's like Chris. Everybody's like Chris. I'm like, what up, Christ? <laughs> You're our best, man. So the barrels that held this delicious, delicious bottle mm. were matured, I believe, for 10 years in, in a variety of different casts that held what? I, we don't know. It's not yeah. specified, but it's, it was a combination of bourbon and sherry casts for 10 years. And then the last three years, they matured all of it in Cabernet Sauvignon Cass from Montgras Intriga Estates in Chile. Chile. So the full description is the long row single malt scotch whiskey has been matured for 10 years in a mixture of bourbon barrels, just what I said, and refill Sherry Hogshead, followed by three years in Cabernet Sauvignon barrels from Montgras Intriga Estate in Alto Myopa, located at the foot of the Andes in Chile. Only 9,000 bottles at cast strength have been bottled. As this whiskey is not chill filtered, a natural haze may um, form when it is cold, but this will soon disappear when the temperature returns to normal. So all the boxes are checked. We know that it's not colored. Look at that beautiful red color from the red wine casks. Ooh. Anything else you want to say about this whiskey? Yeah, I should have worn my uh, Patagonia hat on, on air since we're <laughs> down in Chile. Oh. Chile is mm. Chile or Chile. Mm. I'm just kidding. I gave him one of those like, Ugh. no, I'm just kidding. It's delicious. <laughs> it smells good. He's like, I'm oh. excited. Um, ch Chile is one of those words. It's kind of like uh, Qatar and Qatar. Mm. Yeah. 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 Can it, is, can it officially go both ways? Probably not. It's probably Chile. Oh, look at you. I didn't mean to. <laughs> it's fine. It was that second, like the first pour was better. Give it through. a good score. <laughs> No, that's not how much I pour to you. Daddy's getting into it tonight. Daddy is. All right. <clears throat> All right. What do you get in the schnoz? Mm, schnoz berries. I do get some schnoz berries. Mm, berries. At least a lot of red berries. Yeah, berries for sure. It oh reminds me. It, it reminds me of kind of every dark blackberries, um, raspberries, strawberries. <laughs> Dave's looking at me because he knows that he's cheating on my notes. <laughs> he's like, I, it's but, but, the but, that's, but when you smell it though, it's oh. no mistake it, right? Yeah. Now for me though, it's a, it's got a little bit of that. Dave did not drink this or get notes. Yeah. So he's at a disadvantage. So it's a little <clears> bit, <throat> so it's all those sweet berries mixed in with some like soot. I, I was gonna Dirtiness, say I was gonna say like grime, a, like a the boot, muck a and the heel mire. of a boot, the <laughs> muck and the mire. So I said chocolate, chocolate covered raspberries in with a ton of soot, with red hot chili flakes. Yeah, a slight that 
cheesy note that I haven't gotten in a while in a couple spring makes, which I love. It makes me think of the old spring make 12 cast strengths and the, and the black um, labels that I love so much that really got me into it does spring make. Velveeta. And you, do you get a cheesy note? Not Velveeta. It reminds me more. I've had Velveeta, it, Velveeta yeah. in a hot minute. Oh man, Velveeta shells and cheese. <sighs> Buttery, oily, a little sweet and sour, a little acidic note. Yeah, it's got a little. Um, oh my gosh. Sugar dough cookies, underbaked sugar cookies. This guy, you always get them. Orange marmalade. Oh, toffee glaze, vanilla glaze. Mm. What else you get? Anything? Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, it reminds me of when uh, oh Beckett, Beckett in the morning starts off with like prune juice and then apple juice comes into play later on. It, it's got like a, a crispiness, like a green apple, like a tartness to it. That's, that's very strange for me. I put rhubarb, which I think. Yeah. Like a, a thing, sweet and sour. Something that's, that's matching. So it's not just sweet is what I'm oh trying wow. to get at. It's fruity. It's better than I remember. It's gotten better as a. Because I just open this. Actually, I open my my Christmas present up early, and then I'm gonna put it back so, and wrap it up so my wife can't see that I drank it. This also this also has a very um, <clears throat> meaty earthiness. Like a yeah, it's it uh, it's got some of that umami, some of that mm -hmm. a little savory, a little That's savory, probably the cheesy note that I'm talking about. Yeah. I get vanilla custard. We actually just recently went to this, like one of the old school, like kind of diners slash yeah. Yeah. drive in, like where you get, you know, yeah. like a a cheeseburgers or... and no, it's cheeseburgers and you get fries, but then they have like a specific, their ice cream is custard. Oh, so good. So vanilla custard, I, uh, yeast, kind of a yeasty bready note. And then, like I said, rhubarb. So dude, you were right up my alley. So custard instantly, this reminded me of, Schuler's has a custard donut. Mm. And so that glazed donut with the custard inside, definitely. I'm there. I'm there. So dirty, though. Maybe even a little diesel fuel. Yeah. With the muck and the mire and the soot. But tons of red berries, man. Yeah. Um, reminds me a lot of leather and leather cleaner. Um, yeah, there a, is a... Has a specific... There is a leathery note. Leather probably the, that's probably the wood. Yeah. Mm. Good stuff. It's got a lot of good notes to it. What'd you get on the the palette? That's got some power. <clears throat> so, <laughs> I would say so. I'm trying to think of what I'm want to say. Um. Even on the uh, even on the nosing, it, it's kind of got like a waxy feel to me, which is fantastic because I'm gonna get into the finish too. It's got a really good finish too. Um, berries are there, but that funky cheese or whatever that is, the the meaty umami. It does kind of the cheesy almost does turn into a meaty, um, like grease from like the a meat. That's a like good way pork to put chop it. Grease. Yeah, it's a good or way to put it. Hamburger meat oil. It's like the what's left of grease. Meat. Yeah. Meat gristle. Oil. Little gristle. <laughs> meat oil. Meat. I guess yeah. it is oil kind yeah. of grease. But um a little bit of a little bit of like dark chocolate with some sort of um like an almond or some some a nuttiness or something. Some nuttiness to it. So, oh, really good. And then I was going to say like a to like a pastry of some sort that just that buttery yeah um but then you take that thing and you put it on like the rug outside <laughs> and left it and leave it overnight. had a bonfire and wafted yeah. the yeah. smoke yeah. over yeah. Yeah. put a little soot from the chimney just yeah. swept it out yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh All is right. that there let's oh so the soot the hold on let me take out a sip <laughs> Chim chimney, chim chimney, <laughs> chim chim chimney. The soot and the like, the red hot chili flakes, the red berries. They, it's the first thing. It's so prominent. The red hot chili flakes, the hot maybe cinnamon mixed with soot, mixed with smoke. 
really takes off at first. And you mm -hmm. then behind that is a little bit of the dark chocolate, the vanilla custard, yeah. the rhubarb. Um, wow. Yeah. That waxiness, it's like those cherry lips that you would put your mouth on. Reminds me of it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that cherry. Yep. Like, and then, then there's a kind of artificial flavoring of like strawberry and vanilla. Mm. You know what that artificial... I think the strawberry is... You know what that artificial happen. strawberry is, don't you? Mm -mm. Mm. The beaver's butt. Look it up. Beaver. Castorium. Mm. Is it castorium? Castorium. 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 Mm. You may not have known this, but you guys have been eating beaver's butt without knowing it. Anal gland. Look it up. Anal castorium. Beaver, beaver anal gland. You'll never be the same. Or, hey, it's delicious. <laughs> I just found out that uh, imitation calamari can be uh, pork uh, rectum. What? Yeah, the end oh. of the... They can fry it up. And... If I ever found out that someone served that to me, I'd punch him in the face. <laughs> if they, I, what if, if they... it's delicious? <laughs> they, so the, the, report, no. the reporter that was doing it uh, no. had, had all of his office try it. He just said it was imitation. He didn't say what it was. That's evil. I Half literally so drop kick this him dude right is like tank. this dude is like I stopped eating calamari because like I am a calamari purist and like I wanted to really sample this. He picked. He picked he's like I know this is calamari. And it Are was you and it was the 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 pig <laughs> like, the like pig rectum like snotty like yeah. superior complex douche. Anyways, I guess it was delicious. Then you get man that the sugar sugar dough cookie man sugar cookie dough. Buttery, is it undercooked? Oily. Again, you get that vanilla custard. The red hot chili flakes comes back in, and then that ever so slight cheesy note mixed with the soot and the muck and the mire comes back in. Sneaky cheese, man. We're about to finish. Dude, that out. Red lips. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. You got that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too, man. That's what I was trying to describe with that waxy. It's like Klein it's, leashed, it's like the Klein Leash kind of note, except for with a bunch of soot and cheese and a lot of things that you don't normally get with Klein Leash, yeah. but in a good way. Yeah. Uh, finish for me, medium, long, long, medium. Um, that that waxy note really stays for me. Um, <clears throat> a lot of the sootiness stays with you. Pepper. It's, you got pepper? Chili flakes. I got... So maybe not chili flakes. Um, are chili flakes the red, red pepper flakes? Yeah, are those chili flakes. Okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah, pepper flakes definitely. But also too, just black pepper. Something about it reminds it. me just of black pepper. Yeah. Just ground black pepper, fresh black pepper. Um, so that balance to a lot of the 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 fruitiness stays the sweetness stays of it from the bourbon mature. Um, it's pretty good balance, man, all around. Yeah. I think it's medium to long, like you said, kind of in the, the middle. dances. Yeah, it, it dances. It kind of goes bourbon. to the it's long because like, ah. the, the red hot chili flakes, pepper and soot, and even the sugar dough, buttery sugar dough cookies, that does last. Some of the other, you know, like the red berries, that kind of is there for a medium amount of time and then kind of goes away by the wayside. But, oh, you get that, the red waxy lips, you get chocolate covered, red, dark like chocolate red covered raspberries. <laughs> what are they talking about? Yeah, you know, like you get it as a kid. And you, you, you have to pinch your lips together. Like these waxy lips. You pinch your lips together, there you yeah. go, waxy lips. <laughs> man, good stuff. Malta yeah. Man Gay Mark, what are you going to give this? Oh, uh, it's definitely approved. I did pour myself a healthy dram. I'm going to give this a... Give it an honest score with how you like it. Okay. Not how you think I want you to like it. So, all of these, it is a I, Once again, I'm saying that it's a good balance and things like that. It's not, it's not my favorite balance of things. Um, it is wonderful to taste all those things. But as far as for me, do I look for those things in a dram? Sometimes, some of them. Um... Not all of them. So I'm going to give this a 89. 
91 out of 100. 91 out of 100. I was teetering on a 90.5, but I gave one that recently. And you know what? I was just enjoying it in that moment. And you got to balance out mine. So 90 overall. Oh, man, this is for 13 year old whiskey. This might, I think, all time long row red 12 Pinot Noir is my favorite, followed by perhaps the, I think. I think this might be my second favorite. Then after that is the Mal, you know, the 13 year Malbec, then the Pinot Noir, then the, hmm. what am I gonna put next? I don't know, man. This is probably this is my second favorite. Second favorite. I did not think this was gonna be, I no. thought this was gonna be towards the bottom, but this has shocked me. This is delicious stuff. So 91 out of 100, 89 for Dave, which is a good score considering you're not a huge city. Freaking yeah. Loving that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. You appreciate the complexity though, right? Yeah, and send me some royalties. Cast strength, so man. Campbelltown. Question of the night. Yeah, so this season, we both got our trees up, feeling lovey-dovey in there, and I, we were thinking, Sometimes holidays can be stressful. Holidays can be stressful. How do you make it through with your significant other? Um, how do you make it through family? What do you look <clears> for <throat> in a partner in life? Um, what is something that attracted you to your mate? And what maybe that's helped you get through the last 10 years? So I think obviously making sure you take time. There's been times when Lindsay and I have taken time. And it was awesome in times where we haven't taken time. And you can always tell when you haven't taken time to like go on dates and do that stuff. So actually, we actually scheduled one for next weekend. So we're going to try and set time and yeah. make sure that we're a team and we're a united front with the kids. So I think for me, loyalty is the biggest trait that I look for, you know, that she has my back and doesn't undercut me and all that. So loyalty is the biggest thing for me. And most of the time she does. And she's an amazing woman. She's a great mom. But I think spending time, making sure you go on date nights, and I look for loyalty the most. That's the most important thing for me. Yeah. What about you? For me? Great legs. <laughs> a great <laughs> behind. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so for me, it's tough because, like, my wife and I, we met when I was – like 15 she like and she was like 13. And so like just a husk of a boy and a husk of a girl. A husk? What does that mean? Yeah, just, just not even, not your full form. Not, I mean, who knows what we're, I, I could end up looking real crazy. <laughs> Exhibit A. Oh, I did end up looking real crazy. Um, so what I'm getting at is, is that what I enjoyed the most about Hallie was she's adventurous um always up for anything and she still is always up for anything she's married to me and i am a little bit uh funny note i hear my wife upstairs so she heard the whole thing <laughs> continue she's like you better be saying good stuff about always me. good stuff i'm always loyal to you <laughs> you're not like wake up in the middle of the night ah! <laughs> it's a sorry to no no it's all right so uh hallie's really adventurous um so I love that about her. And then, um, dude, spending time is such a big thing. Um, it's easy to for yeah. It's easy to forget when you get busy with kids, with work, with life. We were just talking about this. It's <clears throat> selfishness. You get to the end of the day you, as a you parent. You become so selfish. Oh, my goodness. That time. Is and mine. if somebody messes with that time or is like something, something that's important to your wife, but... It's not important to you because it's messing with your time. Taking a step back from that. Yeah. And just, and vice versa. So, I mean, it takes two to tango always, unless you're married to an idiot. Um, so, just communication and um, grace. I would say grace. So, yeah, for sure. Adventure. Keep no day. record. Keep no records of wrongs. Yeah. Yeah. Grace is great. Grace is what makes any relationship kind of make sense because without it, it, it we would be like animals and we'd kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Life lessons down in the malted man cave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've been married for 10 years. You've been married for 11. So we're, we're doing something right. We're doing something right. But yeah. thank you guys for joining in this amazing Campbelltown Long Row Red review. Please like, subscribe, <laughs> hit the notifications bell. Remember. Gotcha. Bourbon, bourbon's best. Bourbon's best tonight.